All right, in this video, we're gonna I'm gonna talk about some of the how to navigate the course page and use um, and do some of the required work for the course. Um, this is stuff I would recommend you kind of look over before the course starts if you have time. If not, definitely do it early in the week. <clears throat> so when you go to do your work uh, that's due by the end of the week, you are uh, a little comfortable with navigating the course. It can be a little overwhelming. There's a lot of uh, information here on the course page. And I just want to kind of help you navigate through it. So when you first log in, um, this, you, you'll see some announcements. Every week I'll post at least one announcement. Um, the school also may put out some announcements as well, but this is where you can read your announcements, and as you read them, you can close them um, either by clicking X, or when you read them, they should take them off so they don't stay right there. Um, so you see I'm taking some off of mine right now. So definitely read the announcements. Um, this first week, I recommend start here, right? And yours may look a little different than your mine, because again, I'm mine's instructor mode, but some things I want you to kind of watch the welcome video, um, read the syllabus. This course readiness quiz is a requirement. You can do it as often as you would like, um, I mean, as many times as you would like, but it needs to be done. At the end of the week, if you do not do this quiz, then you could be dropped from the course for non-participation. So make sure you click and do the quiz in the first week. It kind of walks you through a lot of the same things I'm doing right now, just to make sure that you know where things are on in the course. Uh, grades are always very important too. The students and I have a, I understand why so make sure you click on the assignment guidelines rubric so you have an understanding of what's required I will use the rubrics to grade all assignments so there'll be no question on um, what is required for you to do uh, so look over this and you have your table of contents you can navigate over here I'm just gonna go back to the main screen just to get as half, helpful with this your usual have instructor resources each week has its own module Right, so click on module one, and this is what we're doing the first week. It has um, our learning objectives, it gives a little module at a glance. Right, so kind of look through these things. Once you click on one, you can navigate through the arrows. You know, so by the end of this week, these are the things you should be able to do. And quick module at a glance, telling you kind of what needs to be done. Right, so you should complete the course readiness quiz, uh, review your assignments. And we're going to go through all that. And so it gives you all of these kind of links that definitely make sure you hit all these boxes. Module overview is there, uh, the college, Southern New Hampshire's overview of what we're going to learn. I, in my announcement, I will kind of add more to this. So I do not want to do that. We'll go back home here. But what definitely what I want you to kind of play around with uh, for the first few days is this McGraw-Hill Connect. This is where you get all your references, right? So McGraw-Hill Connect information is where you kind of use the information that you got from the bookstore. Always access your course material through the course website. If you try to go right to McGraw-Hill, it's not going to work. Must navigate it through the course page. And then you click on McGraw-Hill Connect and it brings you to our thing. So mine's instructor view, so I'm going to switch over here to student view. So this is what the student review, right? You log in, it has the assignments, uh, it has the ebook, right? So if you like to actually look at the book, um, you can order a paper copy. I wouldn't recommend it um, just because it's expensive. It comes with an ebook. So if you click on the, let me get rid of this one. Of if you click on read ebook, I'm just gonna open the save time for loading. It brings you into the ebook, right? And if you click on the little table of contents, you can pick on the chapters, right? So we can chapter one, overview of statistics. This is our first chapter. And you can go to the bookmarks, you can click on the arrows, and then you can just read it like a book. And it can actually be even be read to you if you click on the little uh, microphone, right? So you read through the pages, and that's for if you want to read the book. I would definitely highly encourage you to at least skim through the book. Now, what is required of you? So if you go back here into your McGraw Hill, you'll see the smart book assignments and homeworks. So the first number tells you what week set in. So in week one, you have to do chapter one, chapter two, and homework chapter one and two, right? So that's the one in front of it is the week. So next week is week two. So here's the twos, then threes, then fours. So to get started, 
click on the arrow and I'm already, I won't get one I haven't done yet, so I'll go chapter two. Uh, and click begin. And then it will load the content. And it's basically the, just like the book. Um, so if you are comfortable with the smart book feature, then go ahead and use it. If you don't care for it and you want to kind of look over the book first, then use the little read book. But it does bring up the book. But what this does is it jumps into the what the book has highlighted as being important, right? Um, and you can turn highlights off if you want to. So when you click next highlight, it takes you to the important part of the book and it's highlighting what you really should pay attention to. And you can see the other stuff's kind of grayed out. And that's why some students don't like this. <coughs> and they like to use the actual ebook at first. But again, you can just turn off the highlight and it brings it up uh, and then turn the highlight back on. You can see what is important. It's basically highlighting the definitions, right? So you can click next highlight. You can go to next section. And this is monitored how you are doing this because this is counted as your grade. So you have to go through and do um, the smart book, right? So I'll click next section. And soon here, it should give us a little kind of like a check on learning. And that's how it confirms that you have completed it. So I'm kind of fast forwarding through some of this to try to get to through the reading. Um, yeah, there we go. the practice, right? So you click on the practice, which of the following are examples of time series data, right? Um, so anything that deals with time, so the monthly three years, uh, maybe last Thursday, I think that's the answer. And you can, do you know the answer? You can do this and then click on read if you don't. So I'm going to go with, I think I know it, right? So click on it. Ah, uh, nope. Last Thursday doesn't it count. So it tells you if you got it wrong, right? Um, some data can be characterized in different ways of data. So now this is where you have to type things in, right? So if you're unsure, um, you can read about this, which will bring you to the book. And it allows you to go back and then answer the questions, right? So that is <clears throat> what the smart book looks like. We'll go back to student view. And as you complete these, so this one I think I've completed. Um, no, it doesn't have start. I thought I did one of them. It tells you how long, and once you complete it, you get the, tip, the 10 points, right? And it's kind of, you complete it or you don't. So go through these, finish them, and they're basically, everyone should get all the points by completing them. But you got to complete them. You got to click through and do the little practice and the checks. And then the other thing to do is the homeworks. So when you click on the homework, again, click on the begin. And you can see it's worth 50 points. You can save and exit so you don't have to finish it all one time. All right, you have unlimited temps to keep doing it. It tells you when it's due, July 5th. And then you just have questions, right? Do you agree with Bill's conclusion? Yes, check my work. Oh, I got it right, all right? If you get it wrong, you know, return to my question. And then next, <sighs> multiple choice. So what types of sampling? I'm just randomly picking things. Oh, it says I got it wrong, right? So now I can return my question, change it. Now, I don't recommend you do the trial and error like I am learn because it'll help you for the test, but it gives you this instant feedback. And you continue on. And so you do the problems and then save and exit. And then you can exit. And then when you're finished, make sure you hit submit, right? And it'll warn you if you have uncomplete questions. I'm going to still just submit so you can see it. And then you click view results and you can see I got 10 out of 15 points and that's what grade you'll get. If you don't finish it, I will put on your course paid 10 out of 50. So just a quick recap, go back to student view so you can see this, all right? Cause this is where you do a lot of your work. Um, each week there'll be smart books. It's reading through the book, answering some of the check on learning things. And if, as long as you do them, you get all the credit and then you must also complete the homework. So you can see there's two smart books this week and one homework. Next week, there's one smart book, one homework. Then next week, there's two. So it kind of varies, but it has all of them listed here. Um, as well as this is where you will take your final uh, at the end of the semester. So use this. Email me if you have questions. That is uh, the thing. And then um, I will post another announcements throughout the, some, each week to help understand what the book's going to say in my words 
and then probably give some helpful hints for some of the homework type problems for any ones that I find can be challenging. There's also um, under discussions, there's some graded and non-graded discussions. So getting started, introduce yourself. This is a way for us to get each, know each other. General questions is a great place to just post some general questions. I'll post in both of these as well. Um, and then we have our discussions that are gonna help you with your paper. Uh, and I'll talk more about the paper as we get into the course, but these required discussions are to help navigate you through the paper you're going to write for this course. And again, I'll talk more about that in another announcements or another video. Then the extra help discussions, these are non-graded but highly encouraged, where you can go through each week and ask questions specifically to the homeworks, um, getting, and this is where I can answer them or your fellow students can. This is how we kind of learn together is by posting things in here. So if there's something you're in trouble with the book and it's not making sense to you, put it. I'll give my feedback, but I, I would like to see other students do it as well because you can give it a different perspective that I might not see. So please, everyone, check these. If someone asks a question, please feel free to respond if you know the answer or have a, uh, some advice for them. And use these. You can always just email me, if, but I would prefer that we use these because we can all learn together. It's a safe learning environment in this course, um, and I want it to go well for all of us, but I want it to be enjoyable as well. Thank you, and I look forward to getting to know each and, one of, each and every one of you.